All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome friends and family of all of our graduates. Please remain seated comfortably in your living rooms or wherever else you are for a brief presentation of the 2020 senior class.
Good evening and welcome to Research College of Nursing's traditional BSN class of 2020 pinning ceremony. I am Dr. Glenna Mahoney, director of the traditional BSN program. Today we celebrate the academic accomplishments of the 64 individuals in the 2020 senior class. Two years ago, we the faculty welcomed them into our nursing program. Today, we welcome them into our nursing profession. Each year, the graduating class nominates a student to deliver an address at the pinning ceremony. However, this year, the class has nominated two speakers to deliver the senior address. It is my pleasure to introduce the first speaker, Mr. Dylan Dykstra. Hello, class of 2020, and welcome to your pinning ceremony. My name is Dylan Dykstra, and I'm honored and overjoyed to be one of the students speaking here today. While no one would have guessed we would be doing it this way, we can take solace in the fact that nothing can take away the accomplishment you have all earned, that is, your bachelor degree in nursing. Our ceremony can be changed and modified, but we are officially graduates of the Research College of Nursing, and that cannot be taken away. I was a junior in high school when I felt God was calling me into nursing. Since then, I've sort of floated to wherever and trusted God would put me in the right place, and so far he has. I chose Research College of Nursing because they had the HCA scholarship, were close by so I could commute, had direct admittance, oh, and my, uh, my mom said I should go, and I really didn't feel like looking anywhere else. The following four years started a bit rough. I didn't try in high school, so when I was trying in college, I had no idea what I was doing. I was extremely anxious and nervous. I had two nursing student friends, one named Shania Phillips, who I learned quickly was the queen of sass, and the most anxious person I've ever met, named Jenna Kuhn. It is through the friendship I made with them, I learned, was a way to get through hard times. I would need to lean on others. By the time we finally got to the Research College of Nursing, I had learned to relax, and if I gave Shania cookies, she would be nice to me, and that Jenna was just going to stay anxious. These last few years have given me some great memories. Some of those memories include the fundamental labs, where I spilled our instructor soda on the first day because I just had to make a strong first impression. The same lab where Chinya fed me water with a thickener, and I will forever remember the awful taste, and I will never forgive you for that, Chinya. It was the same lab we were all told to bring a urine specimen in, and I saw Madison Stockstill become visibly jealous and worried her urine was not as clear as the rest of ours. I remember all of us feeling so defeated after our first pharmacology test. It was so bad, Jared Hager, Amber Aiken, and I all had a group hug to celebrate our mutual dissatisfaction with ourselves. There were other bittersweet times like this, but this was the first. I will remember giving birth and screaming at Molly Haddock for a presentation in professional development. I like that one because I not only got to give birth, but Professor Kirkland gave me a look of such concern, but she is the one who told us to get creative with our presentations. I also will always remember the blessing of fellow students with pictures and toys of Post Malone for good luck right before every test. It was a ritual I made everybody adhere by whether they liked it or not. There are so many things to remember that the time just seemed like little things like sitting in the LRC so many hours with wonderful people like Isabel Schofield, Shannon McLaughlin, Lauren Roberts, Emma Cummings, and Jenna Kuhn, and of course, Nikki Belcher, and who I gladly grew close to those two years we tutored together. I also set up Audrey Byerly's computer to the printer like a hundred times, but that's okay. She's better than me at literally everything else. So. The little moments like walking to Natalie Harmon's place in the student village to say hi and discuss the latest TikTok dances, shaving my hair off and calling John Gilligan dad for a week, watching Cameron Gable outdress me every day, even though I wanted to be known as the fashionable nursing student. I never was. Getting to know my classmates in clinicals, labs, and simulations, and connecting with so many of you, those are the things I cherish dearly. To all the teachers and staff at Archon, I thank you for those days you endured caffeine-filled and anxious 20-year-olds. You may feel on some days that students do not notice that you do care about them, and their progress and their growth, but I promise we notice, and we are truly thankful for your hard work and devotion to the future generation of nurses that come from you. Getting to know all of you these last few years was so nice, even if some of you bullied me for bringing raisins in my lunch to a clinical, but that's just Evie, I guess. I came from a small private school where my senior class had 12 people in its graduating class. Anything bigger than 20 people in the classroom is intimidating to me. When I'm nervous or anxious, I talk. 
so many of you suffered through me talking and annoying your ear off the first few months. Luckily, all of you were so kind and welcoming to me that I became comfortable. Unfortunately, when I become comfortable, I also talk a lot. So you guys lost either way. Someone once told me I talk so much, they don't believe I could exhale without words coming out. <laughs> I wanted to correct them, but at the time I was breathing in. Despite my incessant babbling, you were all so kind. And watching how hard all of you worked over these last two years gives me comfort for my career in nursing. If the people I work with are half as dedicated, empathic, intelligent, funny, and hardworking as I've seen from all of you, I know everything is going to be just fine. While the world is in disarray and panic, and apparently now wasps are coming to finish, all, finish us all off, we will soon be there in the thick of it. No longer as bystanders, but as nurses working the front lines of whatever remains of COVID-19 and anything else that may lie ahead. Responsibility so great is not just given, it is earned. And no one has earned it more than all of you. Congratulations, Research College of Nursing Class of 2020. In the words of Post Malone, yeah, we made it. And to address our class as well, I'd like to introduce Ms. Shannon McLaughlin. Thank you, Dylan. I'm so proud of you. It made me really happy. Um, okay, I want to begin by thanking each and every one of you for being online with us today. I know this is far from ideal, but considering the circumstances, we are blessed to have the chance to celebrate our amazing accomplishments in whatever way possible. My name is Shannon McLaughlin, and I am extremely grateful for all the time I've spent here at Research College of Nursing. When I was exploring my options for colleges, I never believed I would become as involved in school as I have been blessed to do at this institution. I ultimately chose RCON because of the HCA scholarship opportunity, but during my time here, I have an amazing leadership experiences, experiences that I never saw myself doing anywhere else. As president of Research Student Nurses Association, I got to work closely with my fellow students and the faculty of the college. It became clear to me just how hard every single person within this institution works. Nikki Belcher, my boss in the Learning Resource Center at the college, found a way to allow us tutors to work and support ourselves during a time that school was not even in session. Amanda Gray and Kaylee Lehman work immensely hard to include and represent all students, a job that is extremely challenging to do. Dr. Thad Wilson, Dr. Julie Nauser, and Dr. Glenna Mahoney consider all of the opportunities they can give to us to allow us to be as successful as possible. Also, all of our learning would not have been possible without the wonderful professors we had the opportunity to work so closely with. The faculty care deeply about our success. They want nothing more than to see us grow to eventually become successful nurses. And for that, I am forever grateful. I've seen my peers show up and get involved in RSNA, Men in Nursing, Nurses of Faith, the Uganda Trip, Community Service, and many other involvement opportunities in order to gain just a little more experience that will benefit them in the nursing profession. I've been nothing but impressed by how hardworking the class of 2020 is. Since day one, we have worked closely beside one another to make it through. We would sweat out a four hour lecture in room 310, propping the door open because it never seemed to cool down. We would study for hours on end, only to post on the class of 2020 Facebook page that we were all still pretty lost on what the test was over. This was a common occurrence during pharmacology, but we all worked endlessly to get that passing 75%. We would talk about the anxiety that came with starting our first simulation experience, wondering how we would possibly do what we were supposed to do with a person behind the glass watching every move. Assessing a man with a foil hat on that won't sit still is quite the challenge, but we did it because we knew we were capable. We would question which ATI tests we had coming up and how we could possibly get a level three when that was absolutely unheard of. We were the only people who understood how hard it was to get used to having a Saturday clinical, or even worse, a Saturday night clinical. And when it came to moving everything online at the end of our senior year, we helped each other learn how vSIM worked in order to crank out the rest of our capstone hours in a way we never saw coming. Remembering everything we went through together proves how important being a team was during one of the most seemingly impossible times of our lives. I know for a fact that I never would have made it to this point without my classmates. You all served as my inspiration, and I am blessed to have spent the past two years with each and every one of you by my side. We never thought we would actually make it here, but the hard work is finally starting to pay off. The struggles of being in college, all of the nights spent studying, the anxiety about the future, all of the routine adjustments and unanticipated due dates. 
We have proved to ourselves through this experience that we can handle whatever it is life might throw at us. We have proved to ourselves just how strong we are and what we can overcome as an individual and as a team. Graduating during quarantine speaks to the resilience our class possesses. The generations of the world today have never experienced anything like this, but when we had to make the adjustment of switching online, we were strong and we helped each other through to finally complete nursing school. I believe we can transform that resilience into the confident hard work that the world is in need of during these impossible times. The pins we are receiving today are not just simply an accessory for our scrubs. They're a symbol of the contribution we can finally make to the healthcare field. We have gained valuable knowledge over the last two years, and now it is time to move on and use that knowledge. With that being said, I have nothing but absolute confidence that each and every one of us will become great additions to the nursing workforce. We are the strong, resilient, and confident graduating class of 2020. Let's take what Research College of Nursing has taught us, as well as what we have taught each other, and use it to leave our mark in healthcare. Thank you. Thank you both, uh, Dylan and Shannon. Um, you guys did a great job, and I really difficult to, to follow you, um, but congratulations. Good evening, my name is Julie Nauser, and I serve as the Dean of Research College of Nursing. Each year, the faculty and staff nominate students for a variety of awards in the areas of scholarship, leadership, and service. This year's nominees were of exceptional high caliber, as you could tell by the slide presentation, and we are so excited to honor them this evening. The Service to the Greater Society Award is given to the graduating senior who has made significant contributions to Research College of Nursing through leadership and service to their community. With 496 service hours, help me congratulate Audrey Byerly. The Dean's Award for Academic Achievement is presented to the graduates who have achieved the highest academic average for the entire BSN program. We have two recipients this year, Jenna Kuhn and Mary Keller. Congratulations to both of you. The Barbara A. Clements Award is given in honor and remembrance of Barbara A. Clements President and Dean of Research College of Nursing from 1985 to 1992. The recipient of the award is a servant leader who exhibits insightfulness, a willingness to be a risk taker, and a team player mentality. Their nominator said, she is always willing to go above and beyond. As a student and an employee, she strives for excellence. For innovation to improve tutorial services and supplemental instruction materials makes it clear that the success of her peers is very important. And this year, the award goes to Lauren Roberts. <laughs> the Leadership Excellence Award is presented to the student who has demonstrated outstanding work, dedication, and leadership to the college. The student must have made a significant contribution to the Research College of Nursing student experience. Their nominator said, she is an excellent student who is dedicated to leading her peers at Research College of Nursing. She serves as a tutor in the Learning Resource Center, which helps other students be successful as well. She was elected president of RSNA and has been a fantastic student leader. She is always willing to go above and beyond in everything she does. This year's recipient is Shanna McLaughlin. <laughs> the Excellence in Nursing Award is given to students who achieve both academic excellence in all nursing courses, as well as demonstrate superior professionalism within their clinical opportunities. Tonight, there are two recipients of this award. Our first recipient's nominator said, she is a wonderful example of a student who demonstrates professionalism, professionalism in the Learning Resource Center. Every time I've witnessed her interacting with peers and faculty, she is thoughtful and thorough. Her professionalism and academic knowledge were apparent when she volunteered to participate in a demonstration simulation for research in Rockers Parents Weekend. 
She was only a junior at the time and hadn't even done a simulation yet. Congratulations to Jenna Kuhn. Our second recipient's nominator said, he is a wonderful example of a student who demonstrate professionalism in the Learning Resource Center. Every time I've witnessed him interacting with peers and faculty, he is thoughtful and thorough. He has assisted numerous students with gaining knowledge through tutoring as well as completing special projects in the LRC, utilizing his clinical knowledge. Please help me congratulate Dylan Dykstra. The Longmore Values Award is given in honor and remembrance of Mr. William B. Longmore, a hospital board member and one of the founding members of the baccalaureate degree program at Research College of Nursing. This award is given to the graduate who best exemplifies the mission and vision of both Research College of Nursing and Research Medical Center. His nominator said, he has a way of bringing his leadership, hard work, and dedication to a multitude of areas at both institutions. Whether it is his leadership positions on the Research Student Nurses Association Board as or as a nursing camp counselor, his hard work in his courses, or his dedication to his patients, both as a student nurse and also his work outside of school, he cares deeply for people and strives to care for and see each person he interacts with. Congratulations to Jared Hager. All right, congratulations to all of you. And um, as, as the, the slide presentation showed, there are so many wonderful students in this class that we're happy to be able to honor you. So I am pleased to be here today to celebrate you, the class of 2020 as you receive your nursing pen. I remember my pinning ceremony at Research College of Nursing uh, 30 some years ago. Um, I felt a tremendous sense of relief to have nursing school behind me, yet I was sad to be leaving the best of friends. I felt a sense of pride for my accomplishments, but I was uh, petrified to take care of patients on my own, and I suspect you might be having some or maybe all of those things. When I received my pen 30 some years ago, I didn't know that awarding nursing pins was a nursing school tradition that dated back to the 12th century, when the monks who cared for the injured crusaders wore a Maltese cross on their arms. And then later in the 1860s, Florence Nightingale was honored with a red cross for her efforts in caring for the injured of the Crimean War. Now, since she believed in acknowledging a job well done, she then began pre presenting a Medal of Excellence to the graduates from her nursing school. So, you know, 200 years ago, the role of the nurse was nothing more really than providing care to the sick and injured. But Florence Nightingale knew there was much more to nursing. She was creative, innovative, and had some crazy ideas like having nurses wash their hands before caring for patients could decrease mortality. Because of her courage, tenacity, dedication, our profession of today is built on science, supported by advances in education, and strongly influenced by innovative thinking. Now, throughout the nursing program, we've noticed that you've demonstrated these traits. You have proven you have a solid understanding of nursing care management for a variety of illnesses across the lifespan. You have shown compassion to your patients and peers. You have been dedicated to your dream of becoming a nurse and tenacious enough to get through the rigorous nursing program. You have been in new, unexpected situations that you've approached with courage and innovative thinking. Recently, we celebrated nursing, Nurses Week, well, the whole country did, um, which ended three days ago on what would have been Florence Nightingale's 200th birthday. I can't help but think she would be really proud of the grace and grit exhibited by nurses today in these challenging times. As Florence Nightingale did over 150 years ago with her graduates, we are here today to award you with your Medal of Excellence, your nursing pin. 
On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, it has been our pleasure to be on this journey with you. We acknowledge your achievements, share in your celebration, and are proud to call you our colleague. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nauser. It is now time for presentation of the pins. Graduates will receive their pins in a variety of manners this year. Some of you may be pinning yourself, or some of you may be receiving a pin from a friend or a family member. Regardless of the circumstances, this is a great honor and the pinnacle of an undergraduate experience. We are so excited to share this moment with you and welcome you to the profession of nursing. I will read the name of each graduate. We ask all guests to wait until the conclusion of pinning to offer their cheers and congratulations. Amber Aiken. Ryan Barker. <laughs> there we go. Emily Bennett. Perfect. Emily Berenson. <laughs> Blake Berhorst. Sarah Bloomingdale. Lauren Bockerstadt. <laughs> Can't see your head. It's okay. Okay, sit down, <laughs> Haley Burns. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Katie. Katie. Audrey Byerly. Samantha Cheney. Hey. Lauren Compton. Jenna Kuhn. Hey. 
Jenna, you gotta make noise. Yay! Yay! Good job, sis. Emma Cummings. Emily Doak. Yes, my queen. Thicker than you think. Thank you, babies. Carly Dormany. Gotta make noise. Say Carly. something. Hello. Carly. Woo. There we go. <laughs> Kristen Doyle. I already took you off. Dylan Dykstra. Yo, yo, yo. Oh. oh. There you go. Hello? Is it gone? You're there. Oh, You're back. on. Back. Good job, Billy. Uh, Caitlin Gibson. Oh, that <laughs> Molly Haddock. Woo! <laughs> Lacey Hajega. I see you. <laughs> Jared Hager. Jared Hager. Natalie Harmon. Okay. Yay! Can it work? I'm not sure. Are we up? You're up. Natalie! <laughs> 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 Got it. Very nice. Got it. Kyra Hayes. Oh. Yeah, look over here, huh? Hold on. <laughs> Kyra Hayes. Wait. Wait. Mary Hopkins. Okay. Hey. 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 
Madison Jackson. Uh, here we go. Woo. Woo. Kylie Jeffers. Woo. Yeah. Emma Jones. Melanie Kaffer. Caitlin Kelly. <laughs> Madeline Keller. Woo! Okay, let me get Hold on, I gotta get this too. I don't know if we're on the screen. Woo! Get this. There we go. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> Mary Keller. No, I need it. Are we still muted? No. Oh, I can't get it. <laughs> oh, it's hard to do. Oh, I think it's on. Woo! 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 <laughs> hey, I love that. Just Emma Crete. Hey. Hey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, <I'm up>. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Claire Lammers. Elizabeth Lund. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those parents, I mean, they were unmuted. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my I think we're doing it. Claire Mangan. <laughs> Kristen Martin. Margaret McKeon. Yay! All right! Hey, hey! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can you see me? Here we me? go, here we go. I can see you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 
Yay! Good job, Margaret. Anon McLaughlin. <laughs> Fiona McMurray. Brantney Morris. Shania Phillips. I see you. Alexia Ramirez. Lauren Roberts. Isabel Schofield. <laughs> Lauren Smith. Spinner. <laughs> Madison Stockstill. <laughs> Genia Wanamaker. What's up? It's me, Chin. <laughs> Kayla Walters. Yeah, go, Kayla! 
Taylor Wagner. Perfect. Well, congratulations, graduates. I would like to introduce Dr. Thad Wilson, president of Research College of Nursing. Wow, what an experience. Um, certainly a first for me. I've been at this a long time, but uh, first time I've ever had to do that in terms of uh, doing it on video, but fantastic. I, I join all of my colleagues, faculty, staff, friends, everybody tonight in celebrating your success. Granted, it would have been a lot more fun to do this face-to-face. -face. Uh, I did enjoy many of the celebrations that uh, went on in, in various homes. It was a lot of fun to see that. I do have to admit that um, seeing several of you in class this semester and where you made your videos and what you look like tonight was somewhat different. Um, you look pretty good tonight, so that's, that's really a good thing, right? Um, clearly this event and pretty much everything about your final semester of your senior year um, may not have been exactly as you had planned it, but I will tell you it is etched in history, not only in the United States, the world, uh, but also our school. You're an amazing group of people. I look forward to seeing you out there as our graduates. Um, concerned a little bit that you're gonna be on the front lines here pretty quick and expect to do a lot of good things, but I'm also confident that you're well prepared. As um, Shannon said, you guys have learned how to be flexible and I believe that to be true. 2020 was the World Health Organization year of the nurse and who knew that once again, nurses would be at the front line of a battle and in the news virtually every night. And as the most trusted profession in the United States for over 20 years, I think nursing deserves to have some cheers tonight from not only our colleagues, but also the world. So I'm glad the world is joining in tonight to celebrate all of you. And tonight you will join a very illustrious group of people known as the Research College Nursing Alumni, College of Nursing Alumni, uh, we do hope that you stay in touch. Now, that's always, I enjoy this part. It'll be difficult for me to see tonight, but um, I do ask that if you know how to uh, work those notifications or reactions down here, would you give us a thumbs up if you are an alumnus of Research College of Nursing? Let's see some thumbs up out there. Um, I'm a little confused. You see all of you that just got your pins, you're now alumni, you should be putting thumbs up right now. Shouldn't just be the people that graduated years ago, should be you as well. And we do welcome you to the world of the Research College of Nursing alumni. It's a pretty prestigious group and a wonderful group. Of course, we'll also hope that you will come back to us someday and become alumni of our master's program and maybe someday a doctoral program. The faculty would love to see you come back. And uh, we'd also like maybe to see you come back as faculty someday. That wouldn't be a bad thing. You're a pretty fantastic group. And if you can make it through this semester, surely you can make it through the life of a faculty member. Although I don't know if I'll see in the chats that the faculty members agree with me there. Anyway, um, it is certainly possible in the next few months after you all pass boards. So families, you don't get them back quite yet. They have to continue to study for boards. And after you all pass, pass boards, we know that you'll all be frontline heroes along with everybody else that's been happening in the news. We will believe you to be heroes. We believe you'll rise to the call because you're well prepared and you can do this. But we also know that you didn't do it alone. So to all of those spouses and significant others out there who shared the journey with the graduates on behalf of all of us, thank you. To all the mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, and financiers, who uh, sacrificed for your success, we also thank you. To aunts, uncles, extended family members, thank you. To friends and classmates, thank you. 
and especially if there happen to be any children out there tonight who gave up their mom or dad for the last couple of years and maybe more, thank you. Once again, we need you to kind of let them study for a while because we want a 100% pass rate out of this class. We know you can do it. And graduates, as a small token of our appreciation for your time at Research College of Nursing, and we know this wasn't exactly the conclusion that we were all hoping for. Uh, I actually love seeing the crowds and hearing the cheers and the claps and go on more than just online. But we do hope you value the experiences, the insightfulness, and the energy this class has brought. So on the bottom of your box, you will find a small package wrapped with your name on it. We invite you at this time to take that package out and to open it up and join the ranks of research alumni. I'll give you just a moment to pull those out and take a look at them. On behalf of the college, congratulations. On behalf of the college, we wish you the best. And on behalf of the college, we know you will do fantastic things going forward. We really want to thank all of you for taking time today in this unusual way to celebrate this wonderful class of 2020. And this officially concludes our pinning ceremony. I think I'm going to ask if possible, if Amanda, can you just unmute everybody one last time so we can hear all the rounds of applause? Can we do that? Yay! Yay! Yay!